hello guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you for tuning in if it's your first time watching please know that everything that i say on this channel is according to my own experiences so i have stated on my previous video that the challenges that we face came in summer where the conditions are too high and with heavy rainfall i will link the video on the cards and also on the description below please check it out so that you can have the background of what i am actually talking about in this video so the changes in weather conditions um led to our spinach becoming stressed which led to opportunist pests and diseases so i will have to attach the pictures right here the first one the leaves just turned whitish with a powdery stuff i can't really find words to explain but it basically looked like flower that has been poured all over plants. So throughout my search, I found out that this is a fungal disease powdery mildew, which is very common in garden vegetables. It spreads with wind and when plants are too close to each other, it, it usually thrives in warm conditions. On the second one, you can actually see that the leaves are turning brownish and they eventually turn brown and the leaves just fall off. So I didn't really find enough information on this one, but it is commonly called leaf spot caused by a Checospora petula fungus. Its symptoms are, are similar to the, to the photo displayed. It, the pathogen is favored by high relative humidity, high temperature, wind, irrigation, water, insects, and many more. This one, you can actually see that um, the leaves are still green, but with holes in them in spinach leaves may be caused by pests like cutworms beetles snails and many more the shape of the cut differs from pest to pest so you can't really tell which one it is and unless you have information on that there are also many pests roaming around the garden including grasshoppers snails slugs worms and many others that i don't even know their name as we didn't want to use a lot of money we had to look for other alternatives in our case it was home remedies we used bicarbonate of salt but you can also have a a lot of other combination you can use a bicarbonate of soda with um uh, epsom salt and ammonia but we really used only bicarbonate of soda and it worked for us may not work for you but it did for us. this is the bicarbonate i am talking about to avoid um getting diseases in your plants and all of that you have to make sure that you follow a correct planting process and the spacing of your plants must be right so that they do not compete for resources and that there is enough airflow between them if you don't know how to plant the right way, you can always check the back of your pack with seeds, the one that you bought. They have instructions there. I also made um, a video about how to plant the right way. I will link it down below. So if your plants are already affected, this is what you have to do. You have to remove all the affected leaves and only leave the growing point of the plant. So what you need to do is mix your bicarbonate of soda with water if you don't mind spending a couple of, a couple of rands, then you can also add your Epsom salt and ammonia and spray your plants with that. So please make sure that you spray your plants regularly so that the pests cannot stay on them. As I, I have said before and many other times that we are on budget. We took the, the container of the cooking oil. This is the five liter of the cooking oil. And then we made holes in it on the, on the cap. And then you you have to fill it with the with the with the combination of your bicarbonate of soda or only the bicarbonate of soda in our case. And then you have to squeeze it to the plants. You have to do this regularly so that um the the the, the pets cannot stay in your plants. They will run away. That is all for today's video. Leave your comments down below because I cannot say any everything I want to say. But with your questions. I can actually reply to you and make sure that you are clear where you're not right and also please make sure that you like and subscribe of course um see you next time bye